Alright everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict, Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today we will be going over a custom built system. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the power supply. In this particular system, the PSU, also known as the power supply unit, has failed. Uh, I'm going to show you guys first how to see what's going on, things to look out for on a bad PSU, power supply unit, and how to replace it. And it's a fairly easy replacement. It's not too big of a job. Typically, power supplies are going to run you anywhere from anywhere from 20 bucks for a cheap one to 100, 125 dollars, depending on what you buy. In particular, the one I purchased for this computer, it's a custom-built system that we built about two years ago. But this is an Antec power supply, and I believe this particular wattage on this one is 500 watts. So. Uh, that will pretty much be able to power the entire computer with no problem. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put our power supply off to the side. This is our new one. Show you guys a couple of the tools we're going to be using. We have some standard pliers. They're like a uh, needle nose. Show you there. A Phillips screwdriver. It's the star. Again, I don't really do the technical term, but it's a Phillips screwdriver. And a little smaller Phillips, uh, a little smaller um, star screwdriver here, just in case we need it. I don't think we will, but if in the event that we do, I have it here next to us. Another good little tool I always keep next to me is a flathead, thin flathead um, screwdriver as well. I use this for popping cases off or just popping parts, plastics, and stuff like that. This kind of gets in there and allows me to snap things off so without breaking it. So these are the tools I'll be using, very basic stuff. Let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is remove my tools, get my Phillips screwdriver. Now these computers, to take off the panel on a desktop system, all you want to do, and I'm going to show you guys the best I can, is the side we want to pay attention to is not this side. This is where our power, this is where our motherboard lays. So we're not going to take the panel off this guy. We're going to take the panel off of this one right here, which you can see. Uh, does not have any peripherals or anything like that sticking out of any plugs or anything like that. So this is the one we're going to be taking off, the one that's opposite of the motherboard. So if you can see here in the video, that's one screw, and there's going to be another one down here, which I've already removed. So this is the screw we're going to be unscrewing. So let's move this back here. Oh, let's move it this way just so I can get in the video. Um, I'm just going to unscrew that screw. Take me just a second here. Unscrew it. There's the screw. And let's just go ahead and slide off the the side panel here just by sliding it, lifting up, and we'll reveal the guts of the computer. There's the inside. Nothing too complicated with this computer. Very basic system. I built this for, uh, when was it? I believe we built this for a client about two years ago, which didn't need too much to a system other than just daily usage. Uh, we have two power supplies, which, I'm sorry, two hard drives, which is their old drive, their new drive. We set their old one up as a slave. We have their new one with their OS. A pretty basic graphics card that is on PCIe uh, card slot. You have a dual core, I'm sorry, a single core processor. I believe it's two point, I'm not sure on the specs, honestly, guys. I'm not going to get too in depth with it. Your case fan, processor fan, PSU. Up here, up top, this guy I'm pointing at, the one that the power cord plugs into, that's your power supply. And this is what we're going to be removing. Now, the way we test to see if this guy is damaged is one, you want to get your power plug, plug it inside the power supply unit and hit the power button on the computer. For a normal working power supply, the computer will boot right on. You'll see some lights here on the front panel if it has lights, indicator lights. The fans here in the back of the computer, those will turn on as well. That's a healthy power supply. That's typically the power supply is not damaged in that point. Um, in this case, we plug the power. We plug the power in. We got no juice, no po no un no indicator lights in the front. We got no juice coming from the power supply unit. Um, no fans were turning on. So this is a big indication that the power supply, the PSU, is the 
issue in this uh, with this particular system. This is the problem, so this is what we're going to be fixing. So it's to remove the power supply. Get in my screwdriver here, my Phillips. There are four screws, and I'm going to try my best to show you guys here. And the four screws I'm going to be removing, which are, I guess, kind of hold the, the housing in place, are this guy, this guy, and these. So it's a total of four screws. One, two, three, four. And these screws, as I start to remove them, you're going to feel the power supply loosening up. You'll see him starting to move. So I sort of do it diagonally, just so I don't have a power supply you know, flopping around on the computer. Do just a little bit here and there on all of them, and I just, uh, at the very end, I'll unscrew all of them, and, and it comes right out, no problem. So you'll see it pretty loose there as I move it. Power supply is ready to come out. Now, once I get to that point, I want to come back inside the computer. Let me get some more light here for you guys. And what we're going, whoa, what we're going to almost drop the flashlight there. What we're going to be unplugging is you're going to follow these lights. You're going to follow, I'm sorry, you're going to follow these cords. They're going to be plugged into the computer on all these little spots here and on these little slots they plug into the um, uh, the components and the, the motherboard itself. So you want to just unplug them by lifting up on them. In this video, I've already done that. I wanted to make it quick for you guys. So I've already unplugged all the plugs that came out of the power supply unit and I have them kind of laying here off to the side so I know that they've all been unplugged everything's okay anything else I'm just gonna move it over to the side I don't want to mess with it don't really care to play with that stuff here but now we have we're at this point we have our power supply loosened up we have all our cables that came from the power supply that fed the power to the rest of the unit we have them off to the side here now we're ready to continue with unscrewing the power supply and removing the power supply unit. So I'm just going to finish unscrewing the rest of the one, the screws that I did not remove completely. And we're almost finished here. One last stubborn screw. I'm going to pull out this guy and here's our old bad power supply. This is the guy that um, we're going to get rid of. So we're going to put him aside. Leave that there. Get our new heavy duty power supply. Take off the rubber bands from it. Of course you don't want to start a fire so I'm not sure if that would start a fire but I don't really care. I'm going to remove the rubber bands and we can always organize that later. First thing we're going to do is again pull our cables off to the side here. And we're just going to fit the power supply right in the little housing that it's uh, already has here, and it should fit just fine. Um, it's a little different sometimes. You kind of uh, for these universal cases, it's a pain to get it just right, but they will fit in there. So just work them in to where it matches up where the screws go and that should be a, a clear indication that that's how it's supposed to go. Pretty standard for most cases. These large cases, they're gonna, you know, everyone's gonna have four screws to a power supply. It's gonna fit just right in, no problem. So you should have no issues there. Once you get your screws, just screw them with your hand in uh, just a little bit just to get them in their proper place. Then you can tighten the screws up once you've got it halfway in there and you know it's secure you're ready to tie it down completely pretty simple from that point let's see oh screw fell out not the first time that's happened as long as it didn't fall inside the power supply I think I'm okay so be careful with that you don't want uh, a loose screw flopping around in that power supply. It's a good way to break something. Okay, so we've tightened the screws down. Those are all in place. The power supply is in place. It's snug. We're ready to plug it all in. So the first plug I'm going to do is this biggest plug here. 
and it's the power plug. It's what's going to give the juice to the motherboard. And it looks like this. And it fits in the motherboard right here in that plug. So all I'm going to do is match it up, line it up, push in, and I should feel it just click in. And that's exactly what happened. Now you see we still have that empty space on this one. And that is why this is here. So on my particular motherboard it requires that. So all I'm going to do is fit it in, if I can, fit it in to get it plugged. And you don't want to break a motherboard so or bend it too much, so you want to make sure that you get that just right. Motherboards are picky and can be a problem sometimes. Yep, that's exactly what's happening here. So just give me a minute, guys, to get this the way I want it. Maybe it's... Um, this should fit just snug. Just bear with me here. We're going to get this guy plugged in. There we go. Being a pain, I guess. No problem. Just a computer acting the way he normally is. So we're going to get this next one. Once we've got that one plugged into the motherboard, we're going to get this next guy right here. Looks just like this. He is going to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. This is the one we want right here. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys. This is the plug that's going to go right here next to the power, I'm sorry, next to the CPU and he's going to plug just like that. Our next plug are going to be for our peripherals. I'm sorry, for our components. Where's my head? So for our components Spare parts, I'm just kidding, that's not spare. For our components, which is going to be, let's plug this guy in first because I can see that this one, I kind of have him rigged away where he uh, works with the fan. I guess we ran out of space, but he's going to work. Let's see if we can get this all plugged in right. Uh, maybe we can, there we go. I'm going to see. What basically you want to do is if there's a component that has power, you want to plug power into it. That's it. So we're looking for components that require power and we're going to plug the remaining um, the remaining cables into it. Simple as that. Nothing difficult, nothing complicated that I'm doing right now. It's just finding a plug. If it's missing a cable, plugging the cable in. You know, Not necessarily rocket science. Not yet. So, this guy looks like he's not going to fit because they're different. Alright, here we go. Finally got one. This is our system fan. And, you know, sometimes these guys are just picky. They don't want to fit. And they don't want to go in right away. So you have to be stubborn and continue trying to make them fit in there and they do and they eventually fit and there's no problem I'm now collect connecting the optical drive I'm now getting the data SATA that connects to the motherboard and I'm going to plug that into the optical drive now because I originally unplugged that so I can get into the power and plug the power in so we're going to plug that guy in the next thing I'm going to do is just start making a nice little rat's nest bundle of cables here off to the side because those are ones that you're going to want to tie down later. I'm not going to do a video on tying them down because I'm not the neatest person of doing that. Of course some guys get really articulate with it and they take pride in their tying down artwork but in this case I'm not that guy. So the last thing I want to plug in here is the power for both let's 
SSD for both hard drives and hard drive one should go right in of course I'm doing a live I'm doing a video and I'm not editing this video so I never edit any of the videos we do so as I do this live of course I'm gonna run into you know issues and stuff that I have to figure out almost right away you get nice shots of my my head in the camera but I'm sure you're okay with that wanna make sure there we go good thing I comb my hair today okay so we have our all our cables plugged in we have some spares that's we kinda of bundled up in a rat's nest right here I'll probably just gonna put a a tie on all this and tie that all down but we've now successfully replaced the power supply unit I've done it in under what 15 minutes 16 minutes total we're now gonna plug the power in and see if it all works and uh, again this is live I'm not editing this video so let's see I've now plug my power in press the power light on and nothing oh my gosh let's see what's going on maybe we're missing Nope, only required me to flip the switch here in the back and I'll show you guys the switch that I'm talking about that little guy was turned off so all I did was turn him on plug the power in you see our fans are running everything's cool we have some indicator lights on the computer this case is damaged but I'm gonna show you guys lights are green computer is turned on spinning up running fine as you can hear on this computer there is a slight grinding noise coming from one of these fans it's obviously not the power supply it's probably coming from the case or the CPU fan so I'm probably gonna take the data vac which is our uh, a vacuum it's called a vacuum but it's more like a blower and it's uh, it's all green it's um, basically gonna apply some of that it's kinda like using duster but uh, I'm gonna blow through these fans to see if maybe they just need to be cleaned out maybe the bearings are stuck or something maybe some dust or whatever but rather than replacing the fan hopefully we can just blow it out and it'll run fine so I'm gonna turn the system off unplug the power and just kind of briefly go over what we talked about today this computer system had a bad power supply which is right here we were able to successfully identify the power supply unit unscrew the power supply unplug the power supply remove the power supply we then installed our new power supply unit which is right here it's an Antec 500 watt power supply it'll cost you about fifty sixty five dollars at you know your local retailer or online Amazon wherever you go we then identified which components needed power we plugged the power into each component we plugged the power into the motherboard we've tested the power supply we've turned the computer on to make sure it all turns on everything works out great and we've successfully finished that up so if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section that's on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash IT conflict we're on Twitter that's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict our website is www.itconflict.com again my name is Eric with IT conflict computer repair in Austin Texas I do want to make a shout to one website you guys should check out whenever you have a chance it's www.technation.org and it's sort of like a social network for um, tech enthusiasts, tech hobbyists, people involved with tech, people that like tech and you network with others, you connect, you share, you create a profile, all great stuff and it's good to stay in the loop and meet other people involved with tech. So thanks for watching this long video. I'm going to conclude it now. You guys take care and thanks again for watching. Bye now.